All right, welcome back to another update of my Canadian Dividend Investing Portfolio series here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, what I do is I'm an amateur Canadian dividend investor. I'm recording my uh, investing activities since uh, September 2020. It's been going for about three years now. And I've just been keeping you in on the loop, talking about my performance, each individual stock, the positions, the overall account, how it's going, the sectors, the holdings, all that stuff. I talk about how much money I earn from dividends, and you can see it clearly here every month. And uh, I update everything in my Google Sheet that I made, and I kind of show you what it's like to track your own dividends, which um, if you're interested in trying out the spreadsheet, there is a link in the description below. And if you're not new to the channel, you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for subscribing and uh, joining me for the ride. Um, so where we're sitting at right now is my stock value is around uh, $76,000 with a little bit of cash in there as well. And what I want to do today is I actually want to update the spreadsheet because I received a few dividends since the last video. So I'm going to show what it's like to input those and how I how I got them. And uh, then I'm going to go over the stock that I bought today, also add it to the spreadsheet, and then talk about how that all affects my uh, annual dividend income going forwards after I bought some more dividend stocks today. Because right now, uh, my spreadsheet is telling me I have about $3,887 in passive income. And uh, after I, I put about $200 or so into a stock today, and we're gonna come back and see how much it increased at the end of the video. So anyways, um, let's get right into it. Uh, in the portfolio tab, we can jump in here and take a quick look at what's going on on each position. If you're interested, you can take a look at any of those. Um, basically, ATD is the best one. Got a couple here with nice double-digit gains, a couple in the single digits, and then a whole bunch of red, but that's okay. That's uh, pretty much how it's been lately. Actually, I can see some of them are not totally in order, so I'm going to refresh this, uh, and I'm going to pop that in so now it's truly in order. Um, just it was in the last order since, but things have changed around a little bit. Okay, um, so getting started here, let's take a look also at my dividends. You can see here that I've been receiving a bunch of dividends each month. In November, I have uh, I have to put in a few more. So let's switch into Wealth Simple Trade, which is right here. And I have it organized right now to look at my tax-free savings account, which is what you see in the spreadsheet, and my dividends. And you can see here on November 15th, I received a bunch of dividends, which have not been recorded yet. Some as low as $7 and others as high as almost $30 payments, which is awesome. So what I want to do is I just want to open these up or just maybe take note of this and bring it into the spreadsheet. So that is gonna happen on the dividends tab. And once I update it, we're gonna see that this number, which is currently 76, is gonna pop up to be the actual reflection of how many dividends I've received this month. So in here, we have a master list of all the dividends I've ever received. What I do is every time I get dividends, I come in here and I type them in. So I'm just gonna fast forward that for you or just paste them in. And you'll notice for any of the REITs, so anything that's ending with .un here, we're getting uh, NA errors on the names, and that's just because Google Finance, for some reason, is no longer supporting Canadian REITs, so it doesn't pull in all of the correct information, which a lot of people who are using the sheet already know. Um, by the way, if you're using the sheet and you're having any issues whatsoever with stuff like this, um, come down to the Welcome tab, and uh, you'll find my email address in there. Send me an email, and I'll help you correct any errors that are in your spreadsheet. Um, but going forward, so we've just in put it all of the dividends that I received on the 15th of November. And let's pop back into the summary tab and we can see here that now the total has been reflected before it was like 76 something. So I truly have received $198.88. And uh, that meant that there was about $313 in my account um, that I was planning to buy stocks with today, which is exactly what I did. So in the portfolio tab, um, I was actually looking here at MRU, if I can find it. I think it's right here. Um, MRU is one of my better performing stocks. It's actually in the green for me. But today the stock price dropped down a little bit, so I jumped on that. Um, let's actually take a look here in the Sparkline tab. And uh, oh, nice, I already have it selected. And so maybe let's put it into something a little bit easier to see. Maybe the one year chart. Um, it's been bouncing up and down in the last year. And at the moment, it's on the lower end of the range. And for me, I thought, well, it's a good enough time, for, uh, better time than ever to buy it. Because uh, in the max chart, um, generally MRU likes to go up. So when it kind of bounces down a bit, I try to buy a few shares here and there. So we can see in Wealthsimple that if I sort it for um, my buys, which is right here, 
my tax-free savings account that I picked up four shares. I paid exactly $69 for each of those. So it's a total of $276 for the transaction. So what I wanna do is I wanna remember that number or write it down, depends on how many uh, individual stocks you buy. But I come into my transactions tab. Again, big master list of all the transactions I've ever done. I'm just gonna jump way down to the bottom. For me, that's already almost row 800. I've been busy, um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna drop this in. So it's gonna be TSE, the ticker is MRU. And today's date is November 28, 2023. And I picked up four of those guys at a price of $69 exactly each. I didn't pay any uh, trading fees and the currency that I paid in was Canadian dollars. So uh, looking at this 276, that totals up correctly. And when we pop back into the summary tab now, we can see that this number has increased. So at the beginning of the video, it was sitting around $3,887. Uh, so now we're at 3891 So that's just a small increase of about $4 per year in passive income. Nothing all too crazy, but that number did go up. And that is what I like to see in general since I started. The monthly average is going up. And I'm kind of thinking if I carry this on for a long time, um, it's going to usually keep going up so in the future it'll be nice and big and that's pretty much the plan here with dividend investing and uh, i reinvest those dividends to uh you know continue building this cash flow um passive income so anyways guys that is all if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that thumbs up and if you're interested in trying out the sheet for your own investing uh yeah the link is in the description below give it a check out and i will see you guys in the next one